Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we are here at Universal Orlando Resort. We're gonna be checking out what's new with each of the parks. We're also gonna be checking out what's new with all the holiday stuff. Seeing what, uh, what both parks are doing for the holidays and just overall giving you guys a park update. So I will see you guys in the parks. Alrighty, first up we're gonna be doing Islands of Adventure, checking out what's new in this park, seeing what they're doing for the holidays. Alrighty, so walking into the park, it looks like they've got some nice theming for Christmas. They put up some lights, and it's going to look really nice, especially at night. So another thing I forgot to mention is walking into the park, they also have their own little Christmas store in Islands of Adventure where you can purchase things like stockings, ornaments, and they're all kind of themed to Universal stuff, Universal characters, Harry Potter, all that kind of stuff. So it's kind of cool. Looking over here into Seuss Landing, they're all themed to pretty much all their Grinchmas type theming. Looks really nice. And then they also have a bunch of lights in Seuss Landing to go check out, as well as playing Christmas music, not only in Seuss Landing, but around the rest of the park. A bunch more theming here in Seuss Landing, all themed to all their Christmas stuff. They got lights, a bunch of cool little trees, and a bunch of just festive decorations. So quick update on all the wait times and how crowded the park is today. It is currently about 4 o'clock and Forbidden Journey is roughly a 90 minute wait right now. So crowds are coming back, it looks like people are starting to travel back here to the parks, but it's definitely getting more crowded. Now because Forbidden Journey is about a 90 minute wait, I have my Express Pass with my Premier Pass, so I'm going to go ahead and try to use that and see how long I'll actually be waiting for Forbidden Journey. It is currently a 90 minute wait right now, like I said. So we're gonna see how long the Express takes. Guys, so update, it was a 90 minute wait, um, but using the Express Pass, I waited maybe five to 10 minutes. So it was not a bad wait at all. It was actually really short with the Express. And then also today, running on Forbidden Journey, they were using every single fog, lighting, and every single effect that they pretty much had was in use. And then I feel like some of the screens were actually different today, which is kind of unique. Something they changed with the ride, but it's just really cool. Uh, I love Forbidden Journey still, and definitely having the Express Pass on these really packed days, definitely worth it, because 90 minutes to a five to 10 minute wait, really worth it. Thing that Islands of Adventure is doing here for the holidays, and you can't really see it right now, but in all these trees over here around the castle and just in the whole uh, Harry Potter land and all this and Hogsmeade, they do lights in every single one of these trees that flicker on and off at night. It'll look really cool here in a couple hours. Alrighty guys, headed into Jurassic Park now. We're gonna see what's going on in here. Check out the Velocicoaster as well. Now they are actively testing the Velocicoaster. They're running trains about every couple minutes right now. So it is going really good on their whole testing process and everything's looking great. So a quick update on all the theming throughout the park. We've done Seuss Landing and we've checked out Hogsmeade. Both have a pretty decent amount of theming. Seuss Landing has more theming than Hogsmeade, however, but we walked through Jurassic Park just now and pretty much no theming. Uh, it's okay though, it's just for the holidays, but every other place that we've been to in the park has great theming so far.
Here's the Seuss landing for all their merry merry Christmas for Grinchmas. And then here is it with all the lights on now. We checked it out earlier today without the lights on and it still looked really cool. But having all the lights on here in Seuss Landing makes it a little more festive. Taking a look here, walking down the main area of Seuss Landing. Got more lights, more festive decorations as well. Looks really cool when the lights are all turned on when it gets to the evening and night times. Another look to the entrance of Seuss Landing, but at night with all the lights lit up, as well as these glowing trees that are on, and playing some digital images. Very cool what they're doing for Grinchmas. Guys, that does it today for Universal's Islands of Adventure, but now we're heading on to Universal Studios. And we're gonna check out everything that they have over there, all of their holiday decorations and festive things that they've got. We're also gonna go see, maybe there's some food in some places that are kind of holiday oriented or just specials for Christmas. So we're gonna go check all that out and I'll meet you guys over there. Alrighty, headed on into Universal Studios. We already have some festive decorations out here as well including the Universal Orlando Holidays big wreath hanging down here, as well as lights along the entire front entrance. It looks awesome. Now for headed into the park. Over here in the Beverly Hills area of the park, all of the big palm trees are lit up with lights, as well as the buildings. It looks awesome, but not only that, everywhere so far that we've seen here in Universal Studios, has been playing Christmas music. So that includes the entrance and kind of that whole front midway area. So we haven't been at, back to Harry Potter yet or uh, any of that area, but so far, really festive. All the lights, all the Christmas music, it is going great. Alrighty guys, so I just got off of Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket and currently it's a 100 minute wait. And with the Express Pass, just keep in mind, I waited probably 15 minutes. I probably waited, yeah, right about 15 minutes, even though it's a 100 minute wait for the normal queue line. And it's still a great ride. I love Hollywood Drift Ride Rocket. A little bit on the shaky side, but it's not too unbearable. The music really makes up for it. Great audio. So overall, great ride, but now we're gonna head over. I'm gonna try to do Mummy. And after that, we're also gonna check out some more Christmas stuff, see all their other decorations, lights. I know they've got a big tree over here by Mummy as well. We're gonna go check that out. I'll see you guys over there. Another thing they got going for Christmas is they got these big characters out on stilts for all their Christmas theming, going along with the Christmas holiday stuff. Look at the massive tree that's over here by Mummy. guys so I just got off of mummy and the normal queue line right now is roughly 45 minutes but I waited about 20 minutes so I cut it down about in half compared to other rides like Forbidden Journey where it was a 90 minute wait it took me five or ten minutes and Rip Ride was a uh, hundred minute wait and it took me roughly 15 minutes to get through so overall pretty good especially on pack days express is really the way to go here in Universal Studios they got all the Christmas music playing throughout the park and then over on some trees over there they got some icicle lights which look like they're coming down from the trees looks really cool over here to the entrance of Diagon Alley they've got lights up everywhere as well especially on the trees right out front here 
got strands of lights on all the lights. They got trees. They've got it all. Coming in here to Diagon Alley, they've got a bunch of lights on all the buildings as well, including lights up on the building near the Dragon. And yeah, it looks really nice in here as well. Next up, we're gonna test out our express passes on Escape from Gringotts, which is currently a 55 minute wait. Guys, so I just got off of Escape from Gringotts. It was about a 55 minute wait in the normal queue line, but the express line took us roughly 15 minutes to get through, maybe 10 minutes. It wasn't bad at all, but I did have kind of the weirdest thing happen. So normally, if you've ever been on Escape from Gringotts, there's a room where it's like big, uh, it's the big round screen and it's got a dragon that shoots fire at Voldemort. And normally, it literally would just launch you straight out. But this time, it was really weird. We sat there and spun around in a circle, and we launched sideways. And going into that final last screen in the finale of the ride, we were facing backwards from the screen. We weren't facing the screen at all. So that was just something weird that I've never had happen to me before. But overall, still a great ride, still super fun. I absolutely love Escape from Gringotts. But now it's about 7.30, park closes at eight. So we're gonna start headed uh, towards the front of the park, making our way up there and seeing if there's anything new that we missed. But well, I will see you guys up there. A cool little area as well, over by Transformers and near Mummy. It's Whoa. really decorated down in this little alleyway over here. just got out of the tribute store now which is located right over by the mummy if you were here during Halloween time they had a Halloween tribute store but this one was focused on all the Christmas stuff they had rooms from the Grinch they had a Harry Potter room they had a couple more different rooms they even sold special Christmas treats inside that were really cool and they're definitely a must get and must try so now it is pretty much closing time for the park so we are going to head out but if you guys did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. Have a good one, guys.